Hi, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And this week here in the U.S., it's the week of Thanksgiving. So I wanted to wish everyone who celebrates a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you have safe travels and good and joyous times with your friends or family. So for your weekly reading, we will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so in terms of awareness, we have judgment, the major arcana, and we have the king of wands. So judgment, we see the gray people rising out of their coffins listening to the angel blow the horn, the fanfare, the call, listening to the call. They may say, I'm ready to leave the darkness. I'm ready to feel reborn. I'm ready to leave behind the part of my life where I maybe feel a little dead inside, where I feel that I'm not reaching my potential as a person, my highest self, Because the angel wants them to hear the call and to judge, to use judgment to think about one's life. And when we get this call, regardless of age, regardless of timing, we hear it, we sense it, and we begin to think about, you know, where we are, where have we been, where are we headed? And so with judgment, you have the chance to be reborn and to really forgive what happened before. You get that ritual cleansing of being fresh and clean and ready for this, for whatever path is going to help you reach your best self. And that's what judgment brings. It's the judgment of our actions and our life. Judgment happens right at the end of the major arcana through our journey, as if to say, hmm, now, what have you learned? Where, where are you? You have to answer these questions. These answers come from within. So with this call to being reborn, having a chance for transformation, for again, restructuring, for new opportunities, new cycles, here's the King of Wands. The absolute best in a character who would, or an archetype who would uh, be dynamic and someone who would take advantage of personal powers and talents and abilities, using all of them to create this very rich and fulfilling life, focused on passions, focused on excitement and enthusiasms and, and getting to that place. And if things don't work out, oh well, on to the next. Charisma, capable, for the most part, fair. So this King of Wands could be coming in to say, act, you know, take action, use your power, use your talents and your abilities and network, make things happen, take the first steps. You can create a successful life by understanding yourself, understanding what you do well, and matching them together into, you know, what you're passionate about. So follow your passions. And um, there's a sense here of activity of networking here too, that I, I see of getting out there and meeting people. This is the type of dynamic energy when you go to a party, and there's someone who just is holding court. And You're just listening and you're like, wow, they're so interesting or they're so unique. And, you know, it's very captivating. And there's no reason why you can't be captivating in your own life. And for you to make the magic by virtue of your talents, your abilities, and your passions of what you really want to do. You may have a clearer picture after you've had judgment and the evaluation of self.
So in terms of guidance, we have the youthful energy of the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Hanged Man, Major Arcana. So the Page of Pentacles is the desire for knowledge, the desire to work hard, be responsible, to do what it takes to get the job done, to put in my best research and effort and write my best paper and turn it in. So there's this very sincere desire to learn, to become more experienced through study, through servitude. And if I do that, then I'm going to be able to get some more of these pentacles and I'm going to be able to carve my own path. It's with knowledge behind me and it's with hard work and it's with this pentacle approach of being grounded and pragmatic and having a plan that helps me become a more successful um, activator of my own power, such as the King of Wands. So with this desire for knowledge, here we have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man who's not going anywhere from this position. So he's become comfortable from where he, where he's hanging. He's just hanging out. And it could be a pause. It could be a temporary, you know, time out. You may be holding off on making a decision this week. You may be looking at things differently because you have to. When you're upside down, you see things differently. It may provide you with some inspiration. It may point you in a different direction. It may help you process some things that you're working on is to approach it from a different way. But there's a sense here of just suspension and holding on and, you know, maybe not making any fast and furious decisions this week. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the Six of Cups and we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. So interesting together, the Six of Cups, it's about giving and receiving, of doing so to be able to help others when you're in a position to, and to think about others and to help them uh, get what they need in order to get off, you know, get on back, get get back on their feet. So here the merchant's giving these beggars, he's giving them some coins. He's also holding the scales. It's a little disconcerting to see that. Do we really measure out how we help? Perhaps for some, they do. Perhaps when it comes to charities, they're very focused on how much they're able to provide. So, you know, maybe that's um, the way to think about it. But when you're in a position when you need support, ask for it. You know, ask for help. More often than not, people are wanting and willing to help you. And if you feel that you're still not getting what you need, there are organizations. Reach out. And when you are in a position to help, and particularly here in the States this week, to be able to volunteer, to do something to help someone, someone less fortunate, it has a lot of uh, meaning to it to do that. And then along with this sense of giving and receiving, we're getting a strong message here, which is to pay attention to your intuition, your inner guides. The high priestess is the feminine ideal of knowledge, self-knowledge, understanding yourself. Often similar, I think, to the judgment card. This high priestess um, is passive, may take time to meditate, to reflect to think about life, to think about what's going on underneath your heart and the subconscious. It's also tuning into your intuition and your inner guides. Listen to your inner guides. Trust your hunches. Pay attention to dreams, numbers that you may see in a license plate or on a house number or whatever. Look at the numbers. Listen to the random things that pop in. They can have meaning. You know, it's important to allow the messages to come through. So uh, paying attention to your intuition this week. Always great uh, advice. It's nice to see the high priestess. So Cancer, this is what I have for you for the week. Let's see what we have uh, in terms of 
an affirmation for the week or a meditation point. Health and healing. Hilarion, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So health and healing to watch your energy levels this week, your travel, your stress. Sometimes for those at Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving can be really stressful. It can be overwhelming. So be mindful of that. Do little things. Carve out some time to meditate, to reflect, to walk in nature, to have a nice hot bath. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. And love is open-ended. Loving friends, loving what you do. Take a chance on love. Uh, it's such a vital and important emotion is to give love and to be able to receive love. So my friends, this is what we have. And I, I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a warm and wonderful week. I thank you for your time and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.